Considering Volkswagen's history of odd names such as Toreg and Tiguan, you'll be relieved to learn that the name Tano contains no tongue-twisting idiosyncrasies. It is simply the common name for Nephalitha carpus densiflorus, an evergreen tree common to the U.S. Pacific region, and it is pronounced Tanoak, like the tree. Built on the same MQB architecture that underpins the Atlas SUV, the Tanoak pickup concept stretches in nearly every dimension. At 214.1 inches, it's 15.8 inches longer than the Atlas overall, and its 128.3-inch wheelbase outstretches the SUVs by 11.0 inches. The Tanoak's quoted width and height are 1.6 and 2.6 inches more expansive than those of the Atlas. The concept's claimed 9.8-inch ground clearance certainly plays into the height gain, with VW saying the pickup allows about 2 inches more room between its chassis and the road. If you're curious, these dimensions make a concept about half a foot longer than the Amarok pickup that VW sells in Europe. While it has no ready comparisons in Volkswagen's lineup here, VW calls the pickup's cargo hold a short bed. It measures 64.1 inches long 90.2 inches with the tailgate lowered, 57.1 inches wide, and crucially for the vaunted 4x8 foot sheath goods requirement 50.4 inches between the wheel wells. The short bed on a crew cab Ford F-150 measures 67.1 inches in length and 50.6 inches between the wheel wells. The Atlas Tanoak, however, like the Honda Ridgeline, uses unibody construction, making it a better basis for comparison. Overall, the VW concept is 4.1 inches longer than the Honda on a 3.1 inch longer wheelbase. The Ridgeline's bed measures 64.0 inches long and 50.0 inches between the wheel wells. The drivetrain is straight up Atlas, with the Tano concept employing the same 3.6 liter V6 engine and 8-speed automatic transmission as the SUV's optional 6-cylinder. Producing 276 horsepower and 266 lbft of torque, it's a combo that has impressed us in the Atlas. Volkswagen's 4-motion all-wheel drive system with active control distributes the torque as needed, and several driver-selectable modes are available to tailor traction for dry, wet, slick, or unpaved surfaces. And, yes, the concept has a two-speed transfer case although VW offered no details beyond the assertion that low range exists. Volkswagen says the Atlas Tanuk will sprint to 60 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds, which seems reasonable given that the same featuring took 7.9 seconds in our test of a V6 Atlas SUV. Full frontal. Unlike the long-forgotten Volkswagen Rabbit pickup that was all rabbit to the B-pillar, the Tanoak's frontal treatment sports its own distinctive grille, hood, headlights, front bumper, and round lead running lamps that extend into the side profile. The front skid plate doubles as a sturdy mounting point for a winch. Rear door handles are integrated into the C-pillar, and the rear fenders are flared aggressively. The 20-inch wheels use a mix of aluminum and black color treatments and wear 275-55 R20 tires. Speaking of frontal treatments and you will find this either appealing or repelling the front VW logo illuminates when a door is opened, slowly growing in intensity and reach. With the light stretching across the grille's crossbars into the headlamp surrounds. Then the light sweeps out from the logo and back until all of the LED running lamps are activated. A similar type of illumination foreplay is staged across the tailgate, where red upper and lower strips of LEDs transition into the LED tail lamps. We like a bit of vehicular theater now and then, but we hope this is just a concept car stunt. Volkswagen notes that the instruments, center console, and multifunction steering wheel are heavily redesigned from those of the Atlas SUV, moving most functions, including the air conditioning, to the touchscreen infotainment system. Position high up for easy operation, it joins the Volkswagen digital cockpit screen to form a digitalized cabin environment. Ambient interior lighting fluctuates between yellow or blue light at night depending on whether the vehicle is in off-road or city mode. Designed as five-seater, the Atlas Tanuk employs sporty seats with lateral reinforcements in front and back. A newly designed shifter grip controls the eight-speed automatic transmission, 
and a metallic slider selects the driving modes. Volkswagen says rather cutely, we might add it was intentionally designed to be very sturdy, so that it can be operated every day by people who are used to driving a pickup. Even while wearing work gloves, Volkswagen hasn't revealed any data regarding payload, towing, or other statistics critical to truck owners. And, unlike the Atlas Cross Sport concept also displayed in New York, there is no talk of a production schedule or model year when VW will finally make the leap into the U.S. pickup truck market.